Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for joining me today on the YouTube video here. I want to give you a little maker's tip video. And uh, now I'm not a professional. I'm just a hobby maker, a hobby knife maker, hobby leather worker. And uh, I've just got a technique, uh, just a procedure, the way that I finish my edges on the, my knife sheaths. Now there's different ways to do that. And uh, you know, you might have your own way that you prefer. That's fine. Leave it, in, leave it in the comments. I'd love to hear how you finish the edges of your knife sheaths, but uh, maybe you're a new maker or you're just looking for a different process. You know, I've seen a lot of people who are, you know, getting into leather working, making some nice things, but the edges, they, they, I know it seems like they're, they struggle on getting good quality finished edges on their knife sheaths. So here I have a sheath that I've just about finished here. And uh, I have done the edges on this sheath. As you can see, they have uh, a slight gloss to them. And, uh, you know, a lot of people like a glossy edge and uh, some people even like a super shine. And certainly I'm not the best at this. I don't claim to be the best at all. But uh, like I said, have a technique, have a procedure that I've done for quite a while to get results that I really like, that I believe look really, really good. And uh, yes, there are better techniques, I'm sure. But uh, I'm going to show you in this video how I finish the edges of my sheets. And I hope that uh, maybe it will be a help to you. I'd love to hear in the video what you think. So please leave a comment at the end of the video. And thanks for joining. Okay, so the tools that you'll be needing to finish your edges are an edge beveler, some dye if you prefer to use that, and a dauber to put the dye on the edge, some tokonol, which is one of my favorite finishes, a standard hardwood burnisher, a piece of antler if you happen to have that, and also you definitely need some canvas, just a regular old piece of canvas. Okay, so now we are ready to finish this sheath, the edges of this sheath. Here's the sheath that I'll be working on and demonstrating today. Uh, of course, this is after I have already sanded the edges on my grinder. I've taken it out to my belt grinder, sanded all the edges on two different grits, a uh, coarse grit and a fine grit, and then I just got it to where I was satisfied with the, the smoothness of the edges. And uh, then I took my edge beveler. And uh, this is a number three edge beveler from Japan. And uh, this just simply rounds over the edges and bevels them so that they are nice and rounded when we come to one of the final processes of using the burnisher. So I just go along the edges. I like to do this, if possible, in one pass. Just push all the way through uh, one pass, uh, all the way along the sheath there. And that uh, makes a cleaner cut, a nicer cut. And, of course, you got to do both edges there and uh, then uh, get to your... Uh, after you uh, get that done, uh, you know, it just rounds the edges and makes them look really, really nice in the end. The finishes gives the look uh, a nice finished look. Well, then we'll go to the dye. And I prefer to use black dye on all of my sheaths. Uh, I would say, I guess I should say about 99% of the time I'll use dye, black dye specifically, using the dauber. And I just put it, uh, put a bit onto the dauber. And then very, very carefully, by hand, run the die over the edge. And die the edge, do some very careful passes there, right along the edge so it gets into that new little bevel that I just formed after uh, knocking off the, uh, the edges of the sheath there. And, uh, of course, wearing gloves is very, very helpful. And uh, so just carefully running my hands along there, running the dauber along the edges. Uh, several coats is usually enough. And uh, then able to get a good, good coverage there. And then I'll go ahead and I will let that dry for about, about 15 minutes. About 15, 20 minutes, make sure it gets a good dry on the edges there. Uh, so it sinks in, seeps in, and dries well. And uh, able to uh, get a good start then on using the tokonol. This is the best stuff that i found. I used to use soap, just get some, some soap from the washroom put a little soap on there but then I found this tokonol from Japan ordered it from Japan actually and I've used it used it quite a bit uh, it does come in different colors uh, maybe brown or light brown I prefer just the white as you can see there it just kind of looks like glue uh, old Elmer's glue
Okay, well, it's time to apply the tokenol to the edge of the sheath. And, uh, you know, it's not very complicated or detailed. Just get a little bit on your finger there and spread it across the uh, edge of the sheath there. And it doesn't have to be a very thick coating at all, but uh, just a nice, smooth, even little coat there. And be sure to get that new bevel that you just made all sides of that uh, and get the tokenol into that bevel and uh, spread it spread it out there evenly. Um, now time to burnish with our hardwood burnisher. Um, we'll also uh, we'll be using a little piece of caribou antler as I said. Uh, if you don't have that it's not necessary. You can use the flat part of the beveler but the caribou antler nice and hard and then a piece of canvas. Just some old regular uh, unwaxed canvas and uh, will be great to smooth those edges over. So now comes the effort and the elbow grease and just rounding over those edges running your hand back and forth uh, just putting putting pressure building up friction and getting those edges nice and smooth okay so when I'm done the edges with the wood burnisher I'll uh, get to the flats there sometimes using the wood burnisher sometimes using the antler just whatever I happen to grab first there. I do prefer the antler though. It does make a very nice, flat, smooth, uh, glossy edge there. And so, of course, that will work for the corners as well. And uh, once you get all all corners on e all sides of the sheath, and uh, just go, go back and forth, back and forth to get those edges nice and smooth. Okay, well, you can see after just about five minutes of work, look at that nice shine. A little bit glossy there. And uh, like I said, I don't usually prefer a super, super shine, but some little gloss there, a little sheen, and uh, the elbow grease is what does that with that burnisher there. We'll get that uh, nice and uh, smooth. Well, we'll go to the second side here. I just thought you might want to see it one more time. And I uh, just put a little bit of that tokenol on, get it on the edges there. Um, be careful with those edges. Sometimes if you have a very light colored sheath, that uh, tokenol might this color might stain the, uh, the part of the sheath that you don't want to get darker and uh, try to keep that uh, tokenol just on the edge there but uh, we will be finishing this sheath later uh, off camera with oil but uh, then get that uh, hardwood burnisher round over those edges round it over those edges just uh, using uh, using your strength there and uh, create that friction and uh, smooth that over just uh, as, as best as you can. Uh, the more, the better. The more you rub along there, the better. Making sure your dye is nice and dry. I've done it before where the dye wasn't dry and it uh, kind of rubbed a little bit off, but uh, make sure that dye is dry. Okay, well, once you are satisfied with that, uh, burnishing there using your hardwood burnisher or your antler, got those edges all shined as best as you can and uh, you know like I said it's uh, not all that difficult but uh, just using using those tools will get it nice and nice and uh, shiny then you go to your canvas cloth go to the canvas cloth and here's where elbow grease comes in again and effort uh, just rubbing rubbing it there as uh, lo creating lots of friction and uh, just really uh, using uh, you know using that cloth and the slight friction that is on the cloth, the slight roughness of the cloth to really round over those edges and uh, just get them uh, even, even a little bit more shiny. Okay, well there we have it. Boy, look at that nice shine on those edges and uh, just the, the effort has paid off and uh, that, that canvas cloth really does a nice bit of work on that. Um, you know, you could take it to the buffer if you have a buffer and some very fine buffing compound. You can buff it and uh, even get a little bit more shine. Um, I don't do that. I prefer just to have a, a bit of a glossy, uh, with a little matte, matte to glossy finish, not the high shine, the high sheen, but uh, just uh, turned out really well. Just a bit of elbow grease using that tokenol, those burnishers, and uh, you can get a nice looking edge okay well I hope you enjoyed that it was fun making that uh, little uh, voiceover video showing you how to 
finished ed edges of your sheath. Like I said, once again, I'm not a pro, I'm a hobby maker. You might think I did a terrible job, that's fine. Let me know in the comments. But uh, if this video helped you out, uh, please uh, share it. I appreciate the subscription as well. And a comment below if you would like to uh, let me know just what you think of the video and the procedure and technique for finishing a edge, your edges on your knife sheath. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time here on Newman Explorer.